Howdy gang, Frankie Day here on YouTube. Okay, uh, guys, uh, tonight's going to be uh, video number one for anticipation for Clint. The Mad Modelers Go Big or Go Home group build has just now started. And early this morning, I saw his video that he had on there. He had a 124 scale uh, Airfix 109, which makes an excellent companion to, uh, to uh, my Hurricane I'm doing right now. And I believe we got Spitfire he's doing it. He kind of started early on. <coughs> and, yeah. Looks great, Clint. A1 job, sir. Okay, guys. Uh, this is going to be uh, uh, my first video for, for Clint, the Mad Models uh, group build. And uh, featuring my Airfix 124 scale Hawker Hurricane. Okay, guys. I've been doing these sub-assemblies. I get all the sub-assemblies done first before I assemble the model. And uh, so far, I've got about almost seven hours logged in to these piece, these, these uh, four sub-assemblies, which are now completed. And uh, so they're right now, they've been pr assembled and primed and ready for their uh, painting and finishing and weathering and such. And uh, so before I start all that, I'm going to be able to go ahead and finish up all the sub-assemblies on here so I can be able to uh, work on the kit in its entirety as I paint along and build along and uh, we'll zoom in here in a couple seconds and uh, show how much progress I got done on it I just now started this today guys I got about I got about almost seven hours in it and uh, I was uh, actually starting on it uh, on Chris and Alex's um, hangout and he had a host of, of great fellows on the internet that that were there you got Warren Blanche I uh, got Big Mick and uh, you got Craig, Bob, uh, Josh, everybody on there, and uh, pretty interesting. I, kind of, I really enjoyed that very much. It's nice. It's kind of like camaraderie. Everybody getting together and stuff, and talking and chewing the fat and build at the same time and chuckle and laugh. It's a uh, it's entertainment, folks. The world's a stage, and uh, I enjoyed it very much. Okay, guys. Enough chatted right now. Let's get on to the uh, let's get the business right here. I'll show you how much progress done on, on the beginnings of my uh, Hawker Hurricane by Airfix. You guys, uh, stay stay focused right here. We'll get over here and get a little zoomed in. Okay, fellas. Uh, right here, um, I, I start out with the engine, and the engine is not finished yet. I got the cover. I got the valve covers that fit right on top of here, on top of the uh, the, the Merlin engine I gave you. I think there's uh, 26 pieces to this engine. It's all been primed and uh, ready for its painting and weathering and such. And uh, sub assembly for the cockpit, which is all tubular cockpit frame, which uh, represents the large rods of the fuselage construction with the fabric covered on there. And uh, I got the chart, I got the yoke on there, I got the seat installed, rudder paddles installed, uh, throttle quadrants, air pressure uh, gauge, and also I got the emergency uh, hydraulic pump for the landing gear. That's tall trim wheels, uh, all been installed, and uh, it's, it's ready for its final painting and detailing as well. And uh, over here, I got the firewall that houses the, the Great Merlin engine right here. And I uh, got Mr. Mr. Pilot right here, that, uh, as he proudly sits uh, behind the Hawker Hurricane as he pilots it through the Battle of Britain. And uh, I call him Georgie Boy, that's a good name for him. And that's a good English name. And uh, so old Georgie Boy will go in after I paint him up. I'll fit him inside the, uh, the cockpit uh, compartment and make some homemade seat belts and lash him in. And so I got a lot of work, folks. Uh, I don't know how long this build is going to take me. It'll probably take me at least a, at least a good month. I should have this thing done. And uh, following other uh, ketchup builds I'm doing right now, especially on the um, on the winter projects I'm doing. And um, so I have my hands full, fellas. I got nothing but everything here. There's nothing I don't have, and and all it is is nothing but time, and, and I enjoy time. I enjoy life, I enjoy building these. And uh, I got more coming. I'll probably have another video in a couple more days. And uh, more progress on the Hawker Hurricane. So, right now, I'm going to finish up these sub assemblies right here and go ahead and uh, 
I'll do this tomorrow when I get off work and go ahead and start doing some more uh, sub assembly work and priming. Incidentally, folks, these all got all received their primer paint on here too. Also, a Technolo too right here. I don't know if I've lost anything, fellas, but uh, when I reviewed the instruction sheet on this kit when I first purchased this last year, right here, folks, uh, this is general airfix instructions. You know, it's uh, actually the treatment of these instructions is a lot more different than the 1976 release of this kit years back, years past. But um, in years past, it came with a big old glossy book. It's like a more like a brochure than an assembly instructions, and you had color callouts. But there's no color callouts on these uh, instructions. I've got the to, uh, to note on, on the inbox of you, and. Um, the only color I can see is, is 33, 33, which is probably, uh, I think it's a black color in the humble range. But they give you the color callouts on the finish uh, the, on the finish machine, such as uh, this one I'll be modeling here, the Battle of Britain here. It'd be all sky under on the surfaces, uh, dark earth, with dark green over it. Instead of doing the Irish Regiment, I was thinking about doing the Irish Regiment just to be different, but... Uh, I'm pretty well used to have Hawker Hurricanes like that in that color schedule, so this is more pleasing to me than the you know, Irish Regiment. Maybe I've got a 148 scale Airfix kit, and I might be able to uh, duplicate this kit too, uh, the, uh, the scheme of it on that kit. Like I say, folks, right here is just on the instructions. They don't tell you no color, color callers, nothing. I checked my box, and I'm pretty good. I take 100% uh, inventory of everything I, I build and do, and. Uh, I checked the Airfix Club brochure to give you. There's no color callouts. I've checked out the book, the, the box. So I, I, I pretty much know the color uh, schedule of this aircraft inside out. And uh, so me and this Hawker Hurricane are no stranger. This is the second build of this kit. First one I got was back in 1976 during its release. And uh, it was a, a dandy of a kit then. It's a dandy of a kit now. And. Uh, a kit like this leaves a lot of food for thought for extra detailing. I'm not too quite certain if they have any 124 scale uh, aftermarket parts for this kit. Uh, I'm assuming they probably do, but uh, I'm not interested right now. I'm built straight out of the box. So right now, folks, this uh, this is the video number one on my Hawker Hurricane on on Clint the Mad Modelers group build. Go big or go home. And don't get any bigger than this. And uh, it's big time for me. Okay, fellas, we'll zoom out of here. And we'll get right back to me right here and finish up the video. Hang tight there, guys. Okay, guys. That concludes uh, video number one on my Hawker Hurricane for uh, Bad Modelers Go Big Go Home group build. And uh, I shall have another video in a couple more days of this and more progress to be done. And uh, ain't no way in God's world I can uh, build as fast as Chris and Alex did on their hangout they done, that 24-hour uh, build of the Hawker Hurricane. Those guys done a fabulous job on it. Man, ain't no way I can build that fast and make it look, look, look that pretty. Especially in 24 hours. You look at the build, if you wouldn't know any better, you could swear it took anywhere from one to three months of, build, of, uh, of building it. But they did a marvelous job on it and hardly well done. Okay, guys, uh, that concludes right now uh, tonight's video. And uh, so, uh, one day this week, I'm getting kind of behind schedule a little bit or just kind of pacing my stuff out. I should have more of the Titanic and Lusitania by before this week's over with. And uh, so, I'm, I'll probably go start working on my Titanic now, get those uh, cranes all, all assembled and painted and prepared, ready to install on top of the deck, and go ahead and finish up the guy wires. and. And what's left, let's wait for the rail set come in the mail, and this and that comes, and make the final reveal. And I get back on Lusitania, and we get back on the Charles Morgan. And uh, so I'll be pretty much on schedule. Okay, guys, uh, this is Frankie Day signing off. I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in, and uh, God bless you guys very much. And uh, make Mama happy, like I always say. And uh, happy modeling, and please subscribe, and we'll catch you guys later next video. Bye, fellas.